wearing the blue, a three-time NCAA All-American and national champion, also a Pan Am champion, and a two-time junior world champion. Hailing from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, by way of Apple Valley, Minnesota, representing the Pennsylvania RTC, Mark Hall! His opponent wearing the red, a two-time Big 12 champion and an NCAA champion from Burlington, Iowa, representing the Panther Wrestling Club RTC, Drew Foster. And great match here tonight between two national champs, Mark Hall, Russell Penn State. Drew Foster for Doug, Russ for Doug Schwab there at Northern Iowa. Two unbelievable competitors. What's unique about these two guys is, you know, Drew Foster starts out his college career 500. Mark Hall starts out winning the national championship, and, and they both end up national champs, and they're here battling tonight. Drew Foster really with the 1-0 lead in this series over the last few months. No points there. Man, they came out right away moving oh, their feet. Oh, and both and guys are going at both it. Guys are Love going it. at it here, wow. Love it. All in on the leg. All with a two-point takedown. You can hear Coach Slay, who was just up here in the booth with us, now down there on the floor coaching Mark Hall. What I love seeing in, in both of these corners is you see teammates of these guys. Uh, in Drew Foster's corner, you see Taylor Lujan, standout wrestler at uh, Northern Iowa, and then in Mark Hall's corner, you see one of his teammates, David McFadden, Virginia Tech wrestler, now training at the PRTC. Love seeing great teammates. For all of our viewers out there, high school athletes, middle school athletes, college athletes, man, be a great teammate. Yeah, so good. So important. You know, Heath, I love that right away. These guys are moving their feet, and you know, we, all, we always say there's three things in wrestling we want to focus on. We want to use our hands, we want to make people react to this, we want to move our feet. And these guys came right out Both of the gates. I mean, yeah. right out of the gates to be able to do all three of those. and. Uh, got a little blood time out here, but um, these guys are going to jump back in there right away trying to score points. And I even love that term in wrestling, blood time. I mean, <laughs> yeah. you know, you walk over to the corner, you wipe it off, yeah. and you're right back out there. And it's, it's so good. Oh, uh, it just seems tough. These two back at it. Mark Hall with a 2-0 lead came up with that takedown and that little flurry we had at the beginning of the period. I mean, we've only wrestled 54 sec 55 seconds now, and there's been a lot of action. Yeah, right away, I mean, when those guys were in there, you notice that they never stopped wrestling. Even when they were in danger, they kept wrestling through the situation. Like Larry Brown on stage on a Sunday morning, man. LB <laughs> just preaching, man. Just yeah, constant, yeah, man. just this on the go. Right, so if you've right. never tuned into Elevation Church, go there and oh, check him out. Well, it seems like neither one of these guys are going to put themselves in a bad position. They're, uh, they're definitely taking risks out there, which is great. Good to see. Um, Love it when those athletes get out there and they lay it on the line. You know, we, as much training and, and time they put into it and effort they put into it, man, when the lights are on and you shake hands and you just sing, like, it's time to get after it and try to score some points. And that's exactly what we're seeing right now. Great shot by Foster. Both these guys doing a great job of, like, level changing, pressure release. Getting the other guys, you said, Carl, to react. I'm yeah, I know. I'm, I'm trying to wrestle through the situations myself. I think I'm a lot better wrestling the situation up here at the table than if I were. That's right. Back. That's right. Two points, Drew Foster. But we're tied up. Hall in on the leg can get a takedown here himself. Nice finish there. Textbook single leg finish there. Head up, chest up, back straight, hips in. Brandon Slay preaches that all the time. Every Absolutely. clinic I've ever heard him do, he's saying those things. Mark Hall does an excellent job there finishing that single. 4-2 lead for Hall. 52 seconds left. I love that too because, you know, he didn't run him out of bounds. Took his time, brought him back in bounds. Instead of getting one, he got the takedown there. It's two points, now leading 4-2. And we saw Rocky Ewan do that earlier in a match. Went for the two, got nothing. And yeah. But Mark Hall really in a better position than Rocky had you know, in, in yeah. that match earlier. So uh, great, uh, great score for Mark, Mark Hall. 4-2. Another direction. Great. Dude, great level change in this direct attack by Drew Foster. Looks like he's going to get it here, but Mark Hall not giving anything up. No easy score. 
We were at FCA Wrestling Camps uh, just this past week in Georgia. We had about, over the past few weeks, we've had about 500 kids at FCA Wrestling Camps. Again, go to fcawrestling.org, subscribe, check out our camps. But Tom Ryan was there, head coach at Ohio State University, and one of the things he kept preaching was, Nothing's easy. No. Never give your opponent anything easy, and both of these guys are demonstrating that here tonight. It's really good. Just left for 30 seconds on the clock, and then you got Brandon Slay saying, hey, make sure you get another one, get another one, get another one. Always on the attack, trying to get pushed up. For our viewer, viewers out there, 30-second break here for these competitors. You may think, well, hey, they'll, you know, they'll recover fully. Listen, when, you're, when your RPMs are running this high, you don't recover fully. Yeah. Uh, you just recover, and these guys are well-conditioned machines. They're going to be ready to go right here when the clock starts again. So. Three minute second period on the clock. 4 2 lead for Mark Hall. I don't think Drew Foster is going to back down. He's going to go at it. That's exactly right. I think everybody thought this was going to be a tight match, and we're getting exactly what we thought it'd be. Not just a tight match, but an exciting match. A lot of leg attacks, a lot of great defensive positions. We haven't seen a lot of scoring from Parterre yet, uh, as Coach Slay talked about earlier. So. A lot of action on our feet. Yeah, way to give Coach Slay some more props on that. That's right. By Mark Hall. Great job coming out the back door, changing angles there Drew when Foster's Drew Foster got, got the angle. What a great scramble here. Got to get weight on that front foot by Mark Hall. And he does not score, man. Great score. Gut wrench locked up. Oh, and they stopped him a little bit early, a little maybe. Early. Forehead went out of bounds there on the end, which means they were out of bounds, and so they'll start back up again. Looks like Mark Hall has tweaked his knee in here. Said he's like, hey, today that's probably a better than it being. We missed it. So great finish there by Mark Hall. Great scramble by Drew Foster. The thing about Drew Foster is he gets guys exhausted because everything is difficult. I mean, nothing comes easy uh, when you're trying to score on Drew Foster, and that's kind of that uh, Doug Schwab way out there at Northern Iowa. Doug, Coach Schwab done a tremendous job there at Northern Iowa. Got a just a great culture being built there. If I, if I saw that takedown correctly here, I mean, Mark Hall came in with his right hand, he pulled, and what happened when Drew Foster leaned on it? Mark, Mark Hall lowered his level and, and was able to penetrate through on a great shot. Again, you see, we saw this earlier with Lauren Louise. Went down with a knee injury. Man, we hope that Mark Hall is good to go here. In this situation, man, the one thing you pray for in these situations, these guys do battle, but they come out injury free. But hey, it's one of the things we know, even even in our spiritual journey, man, just because you say yes to Jesus doesn't mean it's going to be easy. Yeah. Uh, well, it I just means it's possible. Well, I think every coach has told a wrestler, like, hey, are you hurt or are you injured? Yeah. And so you're going to get hurt, but yeah. but to be smart and recognize, hey, we're, here's where I'm at in this season and be smart about how we move forward. And as Coach Lay said earlier, th th these guys are getting ready for the World Team Trials and stuff coming up, I think, in September. I don't think we've announced where that's going to be yet. But, you know, obviously, they're doing us a huge favor by, by being a, a part of this event tonight. And so we, don't, we definitely don't want to put these athletes in a situation uh, that harms them down the road. And I, I, Mark Hall, he, he's endured his share of pain. He's been in this, this sport long enough. And so... And we want to thank our certified athletic trainer here from Queens College, right Queens here. Queens College, that's right. So came on out. Yeah, it looks like we're going to be back at it here, guys. Six to two. Six to two. Hall with the lead. Foster going to be on the attack here. Both of these guys have great stances. Foster a left leg lead. I love a left leg lead. Yeah. Yeah. Man, he does a great job of hitting that little misdirection knee pull. Open under position here. It is not easy getting to the legs of Mark Holler Foster. I mean, these guys, great defense, great on this. Oh, that was a, a great. 
Foster is sneaky, man. Yeah, he is. He's got some great misdirections here. Nice yeah, go behind by Mark Hall. Yeah. Probably one of the most unused positions in wrestling. Yeah. The, a basic spin round. It's a hustle drill. Uh, man, just great position Mark there. Mark Hall with a leg lace here. here. He's, He's got, got a leg it. lace here. Big win for Mark Hall. These guys are tied up one to one now in their series. Mark Hall with a little limp. Great match by Drew Foster. Both of these guys, incredible to watch compete because they compete so stinking hard.